we want to give a special thanks to Animal Jam for providing us with this box. Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at the Animal Jam subscription box. Here is another subscription service that sends a box to your house every quarter with exclusive mystery items. Yay! We love surprises. And there is a secret game code inside for the Animal Jam game. Yes! Where to find these? We went to animaljambox.com and learned that there are two ways to sign up for the subscription. There is quarterly, where each box is $25 plus shipping and handling, or annually, where you pay all at one time and each box comes out to be $23 plus shipping and handling. Then every three months, you will receive a different box. This is the spring box and it is all about the birds. Oh look, see, there's the website, animaljambox.com. And there is a giant bird face. This box is pretty heavy, so let's see what is inside. Unbox and play wild, animaljambox.com. Inside, there is a card with a list of all items included. So we can use this as our little checklist so we don't miss anything. First up should be the bird and butterfly guide. Hmm, yep, here it is. This is a spring nature guide and what do we have in here? The great horned owl. You know, I actually saw one of these once when I was walking on a nature trail. It was like three feet away from me. And when I noticed it was there, I saw this giant owl with these huge eyes staring at me. Then he stared back and he was all like super annoyed and flew off and his wings were like huge. And I was like totally scared, but it was awesome at the same time. It looks like there is a mini poster in the center. There are some stickers in the back along with a mini quiz because quizzes are fun. <laughs> yes. Seriously, I love learning about nature. Taking hikes is like one of my favorite things. Okay, what's next? This says build your own bird feeder. So we get to do like a little craft project. <gasps> That's awesome. Even though where I live, this is going to be more like a squirrel feeder because the squirrels they take everything. They're always in the bird feeders. Even when I try to do like all these cool little tips like where you put grease on the pole so the squirrels can't climb up the pole. No, they can still do it. They like hang upside down from the trees. It's insane. They're like little Mission Impossible agents. Inside the box, there is a kit to help make the bird feeder. We have all these pre-cut pieces. Here's like the sides. They say Animal Jam. A little bag of hardware adult supervision required. Here are the instructions. And we have paint and glue. Before you begin, ask an adult for help, you will need a hammer. So for me, adult check, hammer check. Ew, hammer's kind of gross looking. So first, we take the base and a side. We're gonna attach the side right here. Oh, I can push the nail through without a hammer so I know exactly where to go. Oh, I'm gonna have to hammer that last part there. Let's put both nails in first, then we can use the hammer. Repeat on the other side. Remember, safety first, because hammers are not friends with fingers. That is a bad day. Ah! I put that one on wrong. <sighs> That's not good. I'm gonna use a little glue here and hopefully that will help it to stay in place. Twist the little hooks in the top. For the side pieces, we're gonna add a little glue, then glue them between the two Animal Jam signs. Try to line it up with the nail holes. You're gonna wanna make sure you get those nails in before the glue dries so that you can find the pre-drilled holes. Repeat on the other side. Secure all the nails. Aw, it kind of looks like a dog crib. Use three nails across the top to put the roof together. Paint it 
or leave it natural, it's up to you. I kind of like the natural look. Hopefully it'll blend in and the squirrels won't see it. Run the chain through the top of the roof, loop the ends over the hook, lower the roof, and we're done. Yay! So we can just raise the roof to add the bird seed. It'll come down here at the bottom and make a great little bird or squirrel feeder. Next up is a pair of binoculars so we can see all of those cute little birds. Attached to the binoculars is a card that has the exclusive online game code. You just have to scratch it off, enter it online, and you get some cool stuff. Code not valid for use with Animal Jam apps. <laughs> I mainly play the apps. The binoculars are gold and black, and they are a great size for our smaller bird watchers. In the box, we also have... Oh, look at this! It's an umbrella! Now that is pretty cool. It has some little Animal Jam prints on there. The little raccoon with the binoculars. Who else do we have? Is that a hyena? The pole extends, and you get a nice little umbrella here which is too large for my table, but it's an umbrella. Pretty cool. There's still a few more pieces inside the box. This looks like a t-shirt. It says, let's explore. Look at the cute little bunny. I have a rabbit that lives in my front yard and he's eating all my grass. Love nature. And last but not least, there is an Animal Jam Toucan Charm for ages five and up. So you can attach it to your favorite bracelet, and there you go. It looks like this particular box is really geared at getting you outside to enjoy nature. Look at the birds. Aw, look at the pretty little bird on the bird feeder. Wait, is that a raccoon with wings? <laughs> And just because we can't get enough Animal Jam, when I was at Target and Toys R Us, I found some Animal Jam toys. These do not come in the subscription box, they were purchased separately. This is the Cotton Candy Hut, and this is the Pet Wash Hut. They both say Possum Pet Play, and they are for the Animal Jam pets. Is that a squirrel? These play sets also come with online exclusive gift codes that can be only used online and not on the apps. For ages five and up. On the back of the box, it says, fancy friends love to play with their pets. Play with your pets and create special memories with these possum pet huts. Mix and match accessories for a gymtastic look. At the bottom, there is a list of all items included including two limited edition pets. Yeah! So let's get these out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, the pet wash hut has little pencils in the front to hold up the roof and little bendy straws in the back. There is a wash tub with little faux bubbles and a vanity with a real mirror. <laughs> that is cute. The exclusive pets are a frog or a toad and a little squirrel. There are three small accessories like a hairbrush, this looks like a perfume bottle, and a blow dryer. They can be stored around the mirror for the vanity, or you can place them directly onto the pets. The cotton candy hut has a little cotton candy maker in the inside. It's stationary and doesn't spin. There is a display wall of goodies, and the pets are a little horned owl and a panda. The accessories are a lollipop, ice cream, and a little cotton candy. They can be stored on the wall or on the pets. These are extremely small, like tiny. 
I think it is pretty cool that they decided to make play sets for the pets. Because some people only collect the pets since they can be found in blind bags. Or blind treasure chest, in this case. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is not easy. Maybe I need a key. Maybe I'm not supposed to open the treasure. Oh, man! How am I supposed to open this? <laughs> you don't open it from the top. The front here just folds down. Yeah, that was a lot easier. And inside we have a pearly mirror splinter. Does that snake come with a sword? All of the blind box pets come with one accessory and a food bowl. So yeah, that snake has a sword. They also come with an exclusive online game code. So there is lots of fun to be had in the Animal Jam world, from play sets to t-shirts. Let us know which is your favorite, the Animal Jam subscription box or the play sets in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.